Hey, Michael, Corey. What? It's glow time! I'm surprised you enjoy this this much, Saxton, seeing as how you're afraid of the dark. The following contest is a handicap match. Making her way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Looks like having a night fight, so it's okay. Naomi is one of the most respected superstars in all of the women's division. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer. Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. How can you not bob your head, Corey, when Naomi comes out? How can you not get lost in the moment? Go ahead, Naomi, get it, girl. I'm an unbiased broadcaster, Saxton. Or just a grump. And her opponent, first, from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Taylor Colt. Handicap action coming up next, and this one likely won't be pretty, as it will be three against one. I just hope the medics are standing by, Cole, because there is no way this one ends without a few broken bones. Quite a unique match here, guys, as we're looking at a three-on-one affair coming up next. Yeah, and in the case of the one, you have to give points for bravery, though not so much for smarts. Here we go as we oh, kick man. things off in this handicap match. Shin breaker. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. A roundhouse to the head. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair. 
which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. Naomi's entrance is one of the most captivating you'll see in WWE. It's got great music, Naomi's incredible dancing, and of course the bright neon colors that inspires the entire WWE universe to feel the glow. Yeah, I wouldn't say the entire WWE universe. I mean, I happen to think it's nothing more than smoke and mirrors. That entrance encapsulates why I believe that Naomi's all show and no go. I have to come back to the two of you discussing Naomi, her entrance, and her message of Feel the Glow. Naomi says that the glow is more than just an entrance. It's about believing in yourself, being confident. Real inspiring stuff, I'd say. Confidence, huh? Well, in that case, yeah, I'm all about the glow. Always have been. Oh, stop. Working the gut. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. And she's driven to the mat hard. She is just so dominant. That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. Oh, no. We know what this is. Oh, no. Game, set, match. This one is over. Teamwork. And Naomi manages to reverse out of that one. Now we have Naomi on the attack. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Avoids trouble there. Get in there, Red. She's looking at it. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. This match is slipping away from Naomi here. She might have it. Nicely done. This match is looking for all the glory here. Where is she finding the strength to continue? Wow, Naomi does her story family proud by powering through here. The point of that elbow delivers. So many things are said about Naomi's athleticism and aerial abilities. But when the superstar locks in her bad place submission, her opponent taps out in the blink of an eye. Going all the way up. Look at this. We all know how devastating Naomi's rear view finishing move is, but to see how she's developed this submission maneuver and the excruciating pain her opponents endure, it's no wonder the hold is called a bad place. Naomi's got more moves than you can count, and I think she has a few she can use to finish off an opponent. The bad place submission shows how she's developed as a competitor in different ways from schoolboy out of nowhere. Oh, how resilient was that? She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. She got her with a reversal. Looking at it here. The drop kick hits the target. She wants this win bad. Naomi's going for it. Could be something here. What a move. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Nice move by Naomi there, guys. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking at herself right now, Cole. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen... She wants it one more time. Oh, man, Naomi is feeling the pressure. 
When you look at this, simply amazing. It looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. Up Naomi is really witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. And will this be it? Two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's over. All over. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff.